Good morning. It's August 13th, and this is Doing Life, Daily Devotions for Finding Peace in Stressful Times. This is the audible companion of the book by the same name. Today's title is Rerouting, and that soundtrack was GPS, voiced by Bob Dylan from the Song of Day album 2009. Life is unpredictable. It changes with the seasons. Even your coldest winter happens for the best of reasons. And though it feels eternal, like all you'll ever do is freeze, I promise spring is coming, and with it, brand new leaves. Aaron Hansen Most of the time I love my GPS devices. Chart, compass, slide rule, protactor have all been replaced by GPS-dependent chart plotting software like Navionics, usable on any iOS device. In my truck, Google or Apple Maps are both available to not only guide me to my input destination, but make me aware of everything from gas stations to restaurants to pharmacies along my intended route. Despite the advantages of audible commands, I've chosen an Australian woman as my preferred navigator, and an easily visible, well-lighted map with inset that indicates just how far my next turn is as I approach it, I still manage to mess up from time to time. Now, Often, I try to blame some aspect of the system, like not loud enough, told me too late, indicated an exit when the road merely turned, etc., etc. Sometimes I purposefully take the wrong route, just out of innate cussedness, as my father would say. When things go wrong in life, there's a tendency to blame our navigator as well. That would be God. When we find ourselves possibly in the wrong career, possibly with the wrong partner, possibly in the wrong city, or house, or apartment, possibly with the wrong boss, possibly with a body that keeps betraying us in injury or disease, possibly with the wrong parents who are alcoholic or abusive or never around. Well, these are God things, right? My guess is, much like my truck's GPS, the wrong turns in life are a result of either not listening to or understanding the navigator, or intentionally acting contrary to what the navigator advised. But you know what's great about Google, Apple, Waze, Magellan, Garmin, or TomTom? When you screw up, They don't give up on you. God has the same feature. Instead of just turning away from you, God will offer you this simple phrase, rerouting. Your creator will use the obstacles in your life, the poor decisions you've made, the injuries, the heartbreak, the abuse, and consider them road construction, accident sites, or just wrong turns, and then lead you in another direction. That's where the expression, when a door closes, God always opens a window, comes from. In the Bible, When Abram and Sarah couldn't conceive and were forced to bear children through their maid, God gave them Isaac in their old age. When Moses became a murderer and a fugitive on the run, God gave him a new direction and a new purpose to bring his people out of slavery in Egypt. When Joseph's brothers threw him in the well and then sold him into slavery, God gave Joseph a new position, new purpose, and he saved all of Egypt and his brothers. When David took Bathsheba in adultery and then had her husband Uriah murdered, While he paid a price with his descendants, God still gave him a new path and an heir in Solomon. The list goes on and on. If you feel lately like everything in your life is heading in the wrong direction, rest easy. God won't abandon you by the side of the road. He's rerouting. You, however, will still have to pay attention and listen for his direction. It may come to you in the night, or through the Bible, or through another book, or through a friend, or through what seems to you at the time as an accident. But God's love is faithful. Remember, he neither slumbers nor sleeps. He knows right where you are, how you got there, and how to get you out of whatever situation in which you find yourself. Just when the devil tries to steer me in the wrong direction, I learn how powerful God's GPS really is. Evil will not reroute my journey. God has mapped my success to the final destination. Carlos Wallace Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for the Holy Spirit, whose constant presence nudges us in the right direction, even after we've made a wrong turn. Amen. Traffic delays up ahead You may want to use An alternate route instead We'll see you tomorrow Yeah, you heard what I said It'll be quicker Than this construction's
Exactly what I'll do.